right, here we are doing it. How does everything look? Hopefully okay, because we're in a bit of a different setup today. Because today's video is, is something a little different. <laughs> oh boy. Hi everybody. <laughs> this is like the hardest throwback, the hardest nostalgia, even just thinking about this show transports me to another time, another dimension, honestly. Tila Tequila. I wanna say, do any of you remember her dating show? But more like, come on, you remember her dating show. We all remember A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila. This was groundbreaking. Season one, episode one aired October 9th, 2007. A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila. For any of you who <laughs> weren't there or who didn't care because you weren't gay and closeted, was essentially a dating show. I wanna say the first dating show. It was the only dating show I had ever seen and the only dating show since, really, save for one season of Are You The One, that catered to or included queer people. She came out as liking both men and women and they then created a TV show, a dating show for her to date both men and women simultaneously. My little queer brain could not. I was fascinated, obviously by this show. Absolutely enthralled. And I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything. And so I thought we should re-watch the whole series. I don't know. Let's, let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm excited now. Tila Tequila, let's go. I, I think I love you. So don't think I'm crazy when I tell you this. But have you ever hurt me? I'll kill you. I'm Tequila Tequila. Okay, immediately, looks like it's filmed on a potato. Um. <laughs> and you guys may know me as a cover model. You may have drooled over my hot music videos. Or you could even be one of my two million friends online. There <laughs> are two million friends online? This was filmed in a different time. Like, this was a different era. But what you don't know about me? is that I am bisexual. Yeah, you My are. She's bisexual, openly. In 2007. I need to contain myself. I'm about to meet 16 gorgeous straight guys who think I'm searching for the man of my dreams. That girl is smoking hot. Then I'm gonna meet 16 hot lesbians who think I'm straight up gay and looking for a long-lasting lesbian relationship. <laughs> oh no, okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, hold on, I didn't remember this part. So this is the twist, is both, oh, oh no. Are we? about to walk straight into so much biphobia. I, now I'm afraid, suddenly. I'm suddenly afraid. I have a feeling that the women are gonna react poorly to her also being interested in men, and I feel like the men are going to react poorly in a different way. Oh God, I, let's see. Please, Tila, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong, MTV. Please don't tell me you made a whole show based on people hating. Bisexuality. Then I'll bring together the ones I think have a shot at love and reveal my biggest secret. I'm a bisexual. Oh. Yeah! After today, those of you who remain will- What were those reactions? Oh, the women look pissed. The women look pissed and one guy kind of looked like he came in his pants a little bit. <laughs> Here's to shot at love. This, this is a roller coaster already and I am on it. I am buckled in, I've taken my gravel. <laughs> Tila Tequila, take me on this ride. Oh, oh here we go, let's meet the boys. Oh my God. There is so much testosterone happening coming out of that limo. That's like, that was like a pack of wild animals. But, but, but like, holy crap, she is a lot more gorgeous than I ever imagined. Correct. All of a sudden, I'm going for it. I'm climbing the wall, 
Like Romeo and Juliet. This guy's literally climbing up the wall. Like he has gone full animal mode. He's no longer in his human form. He has regressed to his reptilian brain and he will out alpha all those other betas. <sighs> I feel concerned for her safety. <laughs> no, I've never been with Asian chick before, but I love Chinese food. Okay, so we've also just got some fun little, fun little racism in there. Liking Chinese food, I don't even know where to start with that. Chinese food has nothing to do with it, sir. Great, we're off to a great start. Tila, she is gorgeous. I mean, you see pictures in magazines, but she is hot as hell in real life. Which one do you guys think are the ones for me? I'm so curious how the women are gonna respond to her versus how the men are responding to her. Like all the men are just like, she's so hot. And I wonder if the women will be the same. If you put a little bit, 20% of accent that I got and 50% of cooking meal, that it makes a 200% chances to have the woman in the bed by the night. Are we going to have sex with her in this house? We could have sex with her in this house. <laughs> What is happening? What was that math? 20% accent, 50% cooking, 200% chance I'm getting laid. Each of the guys brought me a gift so I could get to know them better. I was oh, this will be good. Yes, I want to give you. Yeah. And um, I wrote a song this morning. Really? Yeah. Oh no. I gotta find a way. I gotta find a Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. If this was a part of the show, that they had to bring her a gift, the producers would have told them that ahead of time. And he's saying, this morning I wrote you a song. Boy couldn't come up with a gift? Couldn't think ahead? Couldn't actually go get her something? He forgot. This guy forgot that he was supposed to get her a gift, panicked, and went, Singing. Girls like singing. She'll think it's from the heart. Nope. Not good enough. I gotta find a way to get in your heart. Aww. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. Because I forgot about the whole gift thing. I have what you call an Indian dream catcher. Definitely gonna be dreaming about you tonight. Oh, are you? The CD. I'm a dancer. That's what? A little bit of warmth. I uh, got yeah, a little frog because of all the frogs that are in the house. Really? A frog? Here's a little piece of me for you. There's only really two things that I do that force me to break a sweat, and that's sex and drugs. My death is a pain. Something I had. The name of it's illustrious. It looks like me, so why don't we act it out? Like this. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, these gifts. I. Am I having a stroke? Like, wh what? You're asked to bring this woman that you're going to be courting a gift. What use would she possibly have for drumsticks? Yes, you are a drummer. Why would she want drumsticks? A frog? I'm baffled by this right now. The painting, okay. That's like thought and time went into it ahead of time. You like thought about something, put it into action, created something for her. I like that, sweet. Drumsticks? That's like if I was like, I'm a climber. I like climbing. So I'm gonna give you some climbing chalk. You're welcome. What, what do you, why do you want? Oh no, okay, okay. Yeah, the head back. Oh, they're making out. Oh, they're already making out. It's kind of nice to have this. She also liked the painting, just saying. I'm from Boston, so I thought I'd start off by um, teabagging me a little bit. <laughs> a girl would never even think about a cheesy ass present like that. Exactly! What? Who thinks that that's impressive? Or funny or good in any way? I'm supposed to bring you a present, so I brought you a tea bag so I can tea bag. Is that. That's not even a pleasant. 
I hate, I hate it. Teabagging, should we talk about it? Oh my God. Unless she has explicitly said to you, which she hasn't, sir, you don't know her. Unless she has explicitly said, hey, this is an act I really enjoy. That's not even an experience that's for her. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're gonna make a sex joke, at least make it about something that you're gonna do for her, no? No? You got me detergent? Got oh, some don't. detergent, so if you ever need to wash some clothes, I gotta wash more, I need to wash that all now. I'm over it. Like, there's a million people out there that look just like you, yeah. and I want you to show me something different. Yeah, what? I got you detergent so you can wash your clothes on my abs. I got you drumsticks so I can tell you that the only things that make me sweat are drumming and sex. I got you a tea bag so I can Bag you. What's wrong? Is everyone okay? Did I you make that? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's some big chunky meatballs. Okay. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, okay, that fine. That that it's something for her. He's showcasing a skill. If he if cooking is a skill for him, great. He's showcasing a skill, telling her something about him, where he's from, what he likes to do, and doing something for her. I'll add another 10% to your math. The bar is low, but I'll give you 10%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Romeo boy's gonna also get a kiss. Okay, that's just enough on his own. <laughs> I don't know if she'd be upset about that. Never be upset about that! <laughs> oh, that's too bad. It's, it's amazing from a little... That's too bad for that guy. <laughs> Ashley's so, like country that <laughs> he has no idea what he's saying. That's straight womp. No, he doesn't. But don't worry. He likes Chinese food. Wow. Uh, 30 bucks that and 30 bucks that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. I mean, it looks gorgeous on my dress and I my know. nails. It's black. I Boy, that's what I was thinking. He has this innocence to okay. him that makes it very endearing. <laughs> All right. Tia is a beautiful girl from head to toe. It's on to the break of dawn. Like, okay, I get, he tried to give her something for her, right? Like, there's points for that. I, I, got, a, I got a question. So sorry, would you sleep with a guy for $10 million? Oh, we don't do that in America. We don't do it in Italy, too. And a lot of these guys, unfortunately, they're scared about other guys. Which is called homophobic. Yes. I'm open minded too. Correct. Wow. Okay, correct. They're Italy. Oh, now we gotta get some. Oh boy. Am I gonna have to put a trigger warning on this video? Biphobia, homophobia, racism. Oi. 2007. Man. Where you going is where no man have gone before. Uh, homophobic well, is when somebody's scared of other guys, I guess. Yeah. It's like a disease. Correct. And I'm just trying to give you the heads up on whatever's going on. I'm not like a snitch or nothing like that. I'm not a homophobe. Yeah. But when you when we get for a girl, you don't be out there talking to eight dudes talking about I will have sex with a dude for a hundred million dollars. I heard Marcus having his one on one time with Tila and he was hating totally on my man from Milan. It's all good. I'm just giving you the heads up. All right? <laughs> just watch out for him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the guy that was laughing uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, at you? He's talking bad about you behind your back. Oh. And I'm not down with it. Okay, okay. This is a... We've got an underdog story. I'm surprised here. I'm surprised by Mr. Likes Chinese food. He's standing up against the homophobia, right? Which is like, this is me stereotyping. I wouldn't have expected that he would be the one. Okay, I have my reservations, but his gift was sweet. And now he's standing up for Italy. Let's see. Teal and I definitely had a connection here, without a doubt. What's up, guys? Teal, what's up, brother? Wow, oh. hi. Now we've got others swooping in. There? No, not really, it's just a twosome, because he's gonna leave. I had Mr. Brooklyn Bobby over there kind of jump in right away. That's cool. I respect that. 
I just can't stand that, that like alpha energy. Like fine, if you wanna have a conversation with her and you wanna like sit down and claim your time, fine. But like then walk up and be like, hey, do you mind if I talk to her for a bit? You don't need to sit down, spread yourself wide and say like, don't worry, it's just gonna be the two of us soon because he's gonna leave. Calm down, it's gross. <laughs> I got you a Kama Sutra kid. So you're gonna oil me up? That's presumptuous, is it not? That's nice. Can you need some more on my arms? Dude, relax. Is Ew. that how you wanna meet a woman? It's yeah. like sit down and just be a gentleman. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Yuck. It's a little uh something that I got customized for you. Mm hmm It's a pillow. When you go to bed at night, and when you wake up in the morning, I'm always going to be there. So good morning, beautiful, and good night, sex. Wow. <laughs> like, like, that's the kind of stupid that I think is cute. Like, that's ridiculous, right? And I hope that as long as he knows it's ridiculous, that took some effort, it's kind of funny. I'm into that, for better or for worse. The party was a lot of fun, but... It was time to let them know that the ones I didn't connect with were going home immediately. Okay, five guys going home. Who's she gonna cut? We have high-pitched laugh guy. He's gotta go, cause he's being homophobic like right off the bat and he doesn't even know that she's queer. Red flag. Massage guy who tried to pull her dress down, gotta go. Drummer boy, gotta go. Benny, fortunately, your shot at love has ended. Which one was Benny? Drop the keys and bounce. I thought Benny was cute. Oh, tea bag boy. Tea bag boy's gotta go. Good choice, Tila. He's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> Rami, your shot at love has ended. Please drop the key. Was Robbie alpha boy? Alpha, don't worry, there's gonna be two of us soon. He's gonna leave, right? Rami said he was my prince charming, but like... Oh, oh no, he's frog boy. Michael? Mr. Pink Jacket, unfortunately, your shot at love has ended. Drummer boy, bye bye. Beth, unfortunately, your shot at love has ended. That's Alpha Boy. See? See? That's bad vibes. All these guys, these guys are bad vibes. The one's going home. Well, <laughs> so far, the one's going home. Bad vibes. You lose Miss Nettle. Oh, why do I? I'm getting, they all look the same. <laughs> Never mind, it's clown boy, juggle boy. Don't let alpha boy stay. Get rid of him. Finally. Massage boy's gotta go. Greg, unfortunately, yep. your shot love has ended. Yeah, like, okay, she was into the massage. Great. Don't try to take her dress off. I shouldn't have to say that. I shouldn't have to say that. Okay, now it's time to meet the ladies. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Oh my god. god. Well, I knew who Tila Tequila was, but I never, ever would have thought she was gay. Yeah. It's amazing that she's lost me, and it's so good. <gasps> watch her videos all the time. I have pictures of her everywhere. She's just amazing and she's very talented. See, like right off the bat, right off the bat, we have a woman talking about how she's amazing, she's talented, like qualities about her as a person, not just how hot she is. This is so great, like I just can't wait to meet her. Cheers, oh. This is the first show about lesbians and love. Just to be a part of something so groundbreaking like this is just an honor. Isn't that wild? 2007, and this is the first show about lesbian love, and it's not even about lesbian love. The guys were fun, but with the girls, it's a whole different energy. Oh my god! Damn, you just dropped it gorgeous. Are you ladies ready to party? I'd have to be like blind and a little not to find her hot. Like she's Ooh. unbelievably sexy. Okay. <laughs> Great. Hold. We'll bleep that. Ladies, cheers. We'll bleep that. Yeah. 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 It's a lesbian. I've never. <laughs> yes. I will cheers to that. I will cheers to that, Brandy. To lesbians. <laughs> I put on the Annie's though. I put on some painted Annie's. Oh, we have matching ones on. Do we really? Yeah. When 
she and I saw that we had the same panties, so I was like, oh, we're totally on the same page, definitely. You know we're still on the same page. This is so gay. They're bonding over wearing the same panties. <laughs> I don't know if my heart can handle this. I don't know if my little gay heart can handle this show. <sighs> Of course I'm a challenge for tequila. Um, tequila. Oh, Are no. you getting drunk now? Oh no. You know what else I just realized? Any of these women could also then be attracted to each other. Does that happen in this show? I don't remember. You'd think it would. Oh, let's see. That could happen on any like queer dating show. There's so much more potential. Come on, producers. Come on, Hollywood. Give us some queer reality shows. More of them, please. Like I haven't even really come out yet officially. Like I told my mom two weeks Have ago. Have you been with a guy? Oh wow. Well, you mean sex? Yeah. I'm a virgin. I've never been with anybody. You're oh, lying. No, God. I'm not lying. Oh. My prayers have been answered. But I mean, now that I'm... <laughs> Okay, Tila. Tila wants to give someone some lessons. She wants to blow her mind. Okay, that's actually a really good example. Like on my lesbian versus baby gay series, the question that I get asked a lot is like, I'm I'm queer, I think I'm queer, I've never been with a woman, I'm scared to tell potential partners that because I'm scared then they, like they won't want to sleep with me. You see this? <laughs> you see this? Inexperience is not a problem. <laughs> it's an opportunity. With females, at first touch, I get lightheaded and I love the way they smell and they're so soft. It's like this sensuality that you, you don't experience with a man. This is like melting my heart. I know it's like not really supposed to be sweet. It's kind of not even remotely sweet, but like that description of like women, like th they just smell so nice and there's this like sensuality to it. Okay. You have really pretty eyes. Thank you, you do too. Yeah, Tila's gonna be a little tiger. Tila! Tila is on it with these women. She is... <laughs> she's pursuing. Okay, you go, Tila, you go. I have been dying to play on it. Yeah. What? Hmm. She, she just swooped in there. Oh my goodness. More vodka, please. I think I'm ready to use my bedroom key. Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> I can definitely be attracted to the shy ones because those are the ones that... Because she likes to be the dominant one. Because she wants to make the moves. I've never really been good with relationships. I don't know, I'm kind of like... Hi! A... Hi! Hi! What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, no, nothing. We're just talking about relationships. What about relationships? See, the women are getting to know each other. They're talking about past relationships. The one woman was sharing about coming out. There's emotional bonding forming already. I mean, chicks can be a bit overly emotional, but <laughs> really. It's okay. Okay, Tila's not into it. <laughs> She's like, this is too much. This is too much. We're just meeting. When I was about, I don't know, 22, I fell in love with a girl and we had like the best time ever. We always had like fun working together. And we're talking about our exes now. Classic. So, <laughs> do you guys usually like to, to please or be please or like? I'm very dominant. I'm very dominant. See, I <laughs> she, just, she just came straight in asking who's a top and who's a bottom. The age old question from 2007. That's a 2007 question. I like to be dominated. Yeah. You are so like, cute. Vanessa was just so hot that <laughs> she, she just wants <laughs> oh, Tila. Tila is the OG top. I, I don't want to say she's a hey mamas, but she's a top. The more she talked, the more I was like, oh. So I just dove in and like made out with her right in front of what's her face. <laughs> this is the girl's last chance to make a big impression on me. So I asked them all to bring a sexy outfit that best describes who they are in a relationship. They don't oh. have a clue, but five of them are going home tonight. So the girls don't bring gifts. Oh, I was really looking forward to seeing the girls' gifts. I am a naughty Catholic school girl. Vanessa. I'm a little bit naughtier than I am. Vanessa. The angel. Damn. I want you to see how it feels to be touched by an angel. 
Rebecca. Yes, ma'am. I want to make you my P.O. Debbie. She's hot, but she's got a butter face. <laughs> no, no, that's not okay. No, Tila, that's not okay. That was so mean. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sweet and innocent. Can I interest you in my cookie? Tila loves that. <laughs> Oh. Can I see that, please? Tila totally ripped. See, she turned the... Oh, Tila Tequila. I'm speechless. You all see what's happening here, right? You see what's happening? How she had to reverse those roles? Like she had to take the control of this situation? <sighs> Be still my beating heart. I am a firefighter, so I'm gonna get a lot of Hello. the guys at the firehouse from wearing this outfit. How you doing, Tila? Yep. I usually date lipstick lesbians, but there's something about her. Stop That's dropping cool. Okay, now we're doing elimination. Five ladies gotta go. Who's gonna go? The one she kept calling what's her name? The one she called a butterface. Who else, who else, who else? Let's see who else. I was not expecting five people to go home. Oh, you're Ready? safe. I go home. You got, you got bottom vibes for her, you're safe. I had so much fun with you all tonight. Getting to know you and how... Oh. What just happened? Oh, that's as far as this episode thing goes? What? Okay, so the download that I have just stopped here. Um, I'm gonna try and find the rest of this episode. Be right back. <laughs> okay, I have been looking, scouring the internet for almost an hour now, trying to find a full episode of this. This is the best I can do. The audio is wrong. Apologies for the fact that their voices are all five octaves too high. We're gonna jump to the reveal so that you guys don't have to listen to too much of this high-pitched voice. You have no idea why the both of you are here. When I first saw the girls walk out, I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna get some. I never, ever Ew. told anyone this before. Maybe they're all gay guys, like maybe it's like a gay bash. But I wanna let you all know that. Oh, please be. I'm a bisexual. Please be kind. This season, on a shot of love. So after today, those of you who remain will be Wait, is that the end? Are they not gonna show us the reaction? Is that it? They're not gonna show us the reactions. I did all that digging. For what? Good job, MTV, you got us. I mean, okay, well that's that's all we need to watch of that. What a ride we just took. How did this video go? I have no idea. I've never reacted to a full length 40 minute episode of something before. How was that for you? What was your experience of this video, this episode like? I am hooked, I wanna watch more. Let me know if you wanna watch more together. Also, let me know if there's anything else you think I should react to down in the comments below. These types of videos are a lot of fun. Obviously, we just get to hang out and watch TV, watch TikToks, watch stuff together. It's ideal, it's a dream. I give this show so far, this first episode, honestly, like I give it like an it's eight out of 10. I give it an eight out of 10. I wanna know what's gonna happen next. I'm obviously biased, but I'm like cheering hard for the girls. I'm like fascinated. I wanna know how everybody's gonna interact going forward. I want more and that's, that's good reality TV. Plus like, I would not mind seeing more women kissing. <laughs> Thank you, as always, to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. I love you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! This show would have aired just as Elena was reaching puberty, just as the hormones were starting to course through my body and control my every action. I just wanted to see how they were all going to respond to each other, but instead watched like 30 minutes of dudes giving her sh gifts. <laughs>